All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna start working on the Honda Insight. As you guys can see, I already started on one side. We're gonna be blacking out all the chrome pieces. It is a little bit windy outside, so if you hear a little bit of wind noise, I apologize. But yeah, that's how it's looking so far. It's coming out really good. And then we still need to do this right here. I stopped a little bit because I wanted to show you the process of doing the top part, because the top part is a little bit more difficult, requires more work. But the bottom part is straightforward. All you'll have to do is just um, use your knife and then this like rubber piece has a guideline and just cut all the way down, which is what we're gonna do on this side right here. I still haven't cut as you guys can see there's a lot of excess pieces. So if you start with the top, everything comes out good then the bottom is gonna be really easy because you just use your knife, go right under it and then tuck it in and that one comes out perfect. And then here's the other side. It's a little bit sunny over here so you can see the black a little bit better. Here's how it's looking. As you guys can see, it came out really good. Tucked it in. And then with these front ones, we have to remove these like rain guards to stop water from getting inside. And then tuck it in. Same thing with the bottom right here. Gonna remove these brain guards in order to tuck it in I haven't done the front yet but there you go just like that and then pull it it pops right in so don't worry about it it's not gonna rip or anything just like that and then you want to tuck it in as well right on the bottom so first things first you want to get your vinyl and then cut it out exactly to the length of the chrome that way it's all one piece if you do two pieces and it's gonna look kind of weird because you're gonna see that line so right now you can see that it's one complete piece. There's no lines, but if you do make a mistake, you could just overlap it and add another piece, but it always looks better with just one on there. I'm gonna do a time-lapse of everything, what I'm doing. I'm already starting a few parts, so we're gonna be doing like the hard ones right now so you guys can see how I do it. But other than that, it should be a pretty simple, straightforward process. Alright guys, so here's the chrome delete done. I completed the front as well. I still kind of want to do the emblem, I'm not sure. But there's a few like chrome pieces still around the car, so I don't know if like blacking that out will look kind of weird. But you can see that this makes it look way different. Makes it look more like aggressive and mean. Compared to like what it looked like before, I think it looks pretty sick. 
I believe some of the Honda like Accords and the Civics come already blacked out or there's like a black edition or something. I'm not too sure. I'm not too familiar with like the Hondas yet, um, what kind of editions they have, which ones come with the black, or maybe they just did it themselves, but some of them do have black and it looks pretty sick. And I think it looks pretty cool on the Honda inside as well. And then here on the side, you can see the Chrome Delete as well. Gives it a really clean, nice look to it. You guys can kind of see it together i have had the blackout on the sides for i would say two months already it's holding up really good no issues still looks glossy nice clean i use 3m for the size just because i really like that material it does last a long time this will easily last you like three years the back right here i wish i would have made this a lot straighter but i will have to cut it again to give it a clean line but i just use two pieces one right here one right here to black it out we can't really see it see from a distance like it just looks black doesn't really look bad and then for the rear um, we could black out the honda inside logo and then i do want to add the spoiler that i have i'm not sure that i've showed you guys yet but i purchased this spoiler right here this is for a honda accord but I do need to make some modifications to make it fit for the most part it fits pretty good but i need to cut off some of the edges and then kind of cut off the inside as well to make it fit pretty good but for the most part it should fit with some modifications to it all right guys so we're going to go ahead and end the video right there hope you guys found it useful for those of you that are trying to do this it's a pretty easy process it's just very like time consuming it does take a while i think it took me like three to four hours to be able to do this on my own and the front grill I had to remove the entire front bumper in order to wrap that front piece properly. I will be uploading another video on that, how to actually remove the bumper, because I didn't see any videos on that, so I'm sure that you guys will find that useful as well. But I will be working on the spoiler as well, trying to make some adjustments to it, cutting it a little bit, just to make it fit perfect. Once I get it to a point, I'll make a video on that as well, and most likely install it if everything comes out good. If not, I'll just make an updated video on how it came out. If I don't like it, then I'll most likely just end up selling it or something. But thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to follow me on Instagram. Also, make sure to like, Subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.